Good afternoon. This is Vaughan Smith at Westco Bell Pottery in Nova Scotia. Uh, I haven't uh, done a video for uh, about a week. I've been doing all sorts of things. Lots of gardening, getting my showroom ready for the tourist season, which may never happen, but, uh, but basically getting everything ready and looking good, make everybody feel nice and basically uh, put everybody in a good mood anyway. Lots of plant pots outside. We're going to plant lots of flowers and lots of vegetables. Um, my whole studio behind me is full of seed trays with the seedlings all coming up. I got about 150 basil plants that have already germinated. There are little seeds in it. That's what I did all day today is prick out all the seedlings and put them in their own little pot. But anyway, lots to do. Spring is here. So uh, it's a gorgeous day. I should show you. It's uh, very pretty outside. I think you, you. it's hard to get you to see this basically, but... Um, if you can just get a quick view there it's a very pretty day today all right it's my first day back throwing so um, I'm gonna throw some plant pots and I just tried out a few with a tool that I was just sent by Freddie Moretti um, and it works and uh, it's based on my jerry-rigged little tool here which works great and then Freddy made this one which was I'm going to use for very large pots basically uh, well, I'm going to try it out when I throw some big ones and then I just got this in the mail three days ago and um, basically I just tried it and it worked three out of three so I'll show you anyway this is a good view of the wheel I think so let's get you down so you can see what I'm doing get a nice angle there uh, All right, okay, I'm headless, of course. So let's get some clay. This is number 516 from Pottery Supply House in Toronto, if you're interested. Uh, it's a smooth white stoneware, cone six. This isn't a beginner's video, since so it's my first one for a while, um, but uh, I will describe what I'm doing if somebody's a novice. All right, so centering clay, elbows tucked in, Resting the left hand on the wheel head. This is a bat that I made myself about 30 40 years ago So it's got a few flaws in it, but it's still workable. I can feel rough bits underneath my left hand though so centering is done by pressing as hard as you can and pushing until you stop wobbling And I'm just making plant pots because I made a whole bunch for the season and I had eight small ones that had little trays with them and uh, I sold seven out of eight straight away so basically I need to make a bunch more and I'm going to plant all my basil in these Yeah, this bat that I'm throwing on is plywood, just about uh, half inch plywood, um, and it was uh, a 4 by 8 sheet that I cut up into 32 12 inch squares, and then spent the next day using a jigsaw, cutting out, I think it's called a jigsaw, but it could be a scroll saw I guess, but anyway, cutting out them into circles, so they're all 12 inch circles, sanding the bat by yeah, actually what I did was I stuck it on the wheel head um, held it down just like this and put sandpaper on the edge and just sanded them smooth and uh, then varnished them three times and they are now 30 40 years I made them in 1985 anyway so what's that work out at 35 years so that saved me a lot of money back then I spent a sheet of plywood was probably only $15 of course So this is, um, we still have a bit of a lockdown in Nova Scotia with the COVID stuff, um, but we actually uh, are allowed to walk on the beaches now, mix in groups of five, um, and uh, you're allowed to mix with one other person from outside of your family house household that has to be a designated person. So it's always the same person, basically. Um, but we really do have 
almost no cases now, except for in the city of Halifax in Nova Scotia. So it's pretty safe to go to the store and stuff. We still, you know, keep the social distancing, wash your hands and all that kind of stuff. Okay, let me get the water out. Now, I usually get this, this, the slip off the rim just by doing that. And then Freddie sent this tool and it works. Now, you don't need this tool for this kind of clay because it's really soft, smooth white. Um, but uh, Freddie was telling me it jumps up and down a little bit um, and it doesn't. I mean, I'm doing it fine. Now, I'm using it, if you can see Freddie, I'm using it that way round. So maybe that's the difference. If I tried it that way, maybe it wouldn't. So the, the little bumps are on the bottom. But, um, but it works. Well done. There we go. All right, that's another planter. Now I'm just going to make 20 of these tonight because uh, I just needed to throw. You know, I've been gardening for a whole week or more. I mean, just uh, and then I had to set my showroom up. Um, we opened on Sunday for the first time. Um, it was a holiday weekend here, um, and there was absolutely nobody around. Um, but then Monday, Tuesday, and now Wednesday, we've had people in the gallery all three days in a row, and people bought things. So, so it's uh, it was a slow Sunday. I don't think people know people are open yet because this is the first time that we've been open. So we have the hand sanitizer and the washroom in the gallery. It's a really nice building. I've done it in the video. You can see it. And, um, all right. So here you go again. So centering, push hard. When it stops wobbling, let go slowly. Letting go slowly is really important. Wet it thoroughly. Push down, leave about a half a centimeter from the bottom, you pull out. These are small planters, so they don't need a big base. I like to make the planters a nice form, not like a re regular flower pot. Has a sort of a rounded belly shape. I have so many bat styles in this house of these wooden bats. This is a particle board bat that I varnish like crazy as well so as long as you use lots of oil based polyurethane it'll last a long time you know it's it's what I said was you know I've just had to throw because I love doing gardening and I love planting seedlings and sat there this morning for probably four hours pricking out all these seedlings from one seed packet of basil and I have over 150 seedlings now um, but there's something about clay my entire life that if I've been away from throwing on the wheel for too long I just get that withdrawal symptoms Because of the COVID-19, I basically figured I wouldn't be doing workshops anymore. I've been intending to give them up for a long time, but um, but this was the, the final straw. We just couldn't get close to people. When you teach a workshop, workshop, you need to be right next to them, showing them practically with your hands over their hands. So I couldn't do that anymore. So basically, I think it's over. Finally, I was, I was forced to quit, even though I've been trying for a long time. I like teaching the workshops, but it's, um, if you run classes, it's a lot of cleaning. Actually, the fun part is seeing all the fun, you know, the nice things being made, and how people go from literally just not being able to do anything to li making great things it just is practice basically so if you um, get locked down again 
There you go. And then this would, if it was a gritty clay, would compress the grit down into the clay. And that's what that's for. There you go. Number five. I make little trays to go with these two, just a little olive pit dish practically. But, um, so maybe I should describe a bit more what I'm doing with this one so we can make it a beginner. Oh, this bat's terrible. This is a bought bat, but they warp. Over time, I think, you know, they just tend to, they bent up. These plywood ones, you know, you can see it's pl just plywood, cheap plywood, sanded, three coats of polyurethane, and they're thick so they don't bend at all. And I made them myself and they last a long time. Now they're a little rough, so if people get put off by the roughness of the, the bat, then it probably wouldn't be for you. But if I sanded them again and repolyurethane, them, they'd probably smooth, be still totally smooth again. This is a new one, relatively new, totally smooth, three coats of polyurethane. All right. So centering, I should knock it off again. Here you go, arm down, leg up, tucked into the wheel, other arm in your side and get your body right over top of the ball and just make a mold with your hands and just push top and side until it sort of stops wobbling, get some more water if it dried out a bit, which it did, and then do the same little mold and let go slowly. So you can see from that, that's where my pressure was, and on this hand, it's the same. So that's where the, but I, had, I like to see half my ball of clay. Some people will do it like this. I like to see half the clay. Anyway, then this hand stays resting on the wheel head, and you push down, to about a centimeter or less, half a centimeter, a centimeter, down and pull towards yourself. There are lots of ways of throwing, and lots of ways of centering, lots of ways of putting the hole in. So just find a way that is, is good for you, so watch lots of videos. Fingertips right opposite each other, and put pressure on and come up straight away. Don't, don't hang around in one level, otherwise it'll dry out. That goes slowly when you get to the top. So every revolution you should be a little bit higher up. Fingertips, press in hard from the outside, push back a little from the inside, and push up. Every revolution you're a little bit higher up. Let go slowly when you get to the rim, and if you can, push down a little bit on the rim, and that fattens the rim a touch. Same again, but push out with the inside hand this time to get a bit more volume. Like I said, I'm just, these are windowsill plant pots for the indoors. So I'm gonna put, um, I'll probably plant up 10 of them. I'm gonna make 20, uh, maybe even 50 actually for the whole season, but, um, and uh, so I'll sell them with a plant of basil. There we go. I like that little double groove. Now, the wheel speed is really important when you're throwing, but, but you know, the rule of thumb is, if the pot's wobbling, you should slow the wheel down. And then there's Freddy's tool, dip it in water, put the pressure down, that's it. That's a good one, Freddy. Number six, and I guess before I bore you too much, it's only a short video, about 15 minutes, um, just to get me back in the swing of things. So um, I'll try and do videos at least every couple of days, lots of gardening this time of year, but um, stay safe and, um, and just make sure you wash your hands. All right, okay, take care, bye.